What is going on guys? Welcome back to Chasing Florida. For those of you who are subscribed, thank you for subscribing. For those of you who are new and just found the channel, welcome. Today we're walking through the 100 hour service on our Suzuki 115 DFA with the assistance of my buddy, Captain Chris. I actually forgot to film a intro, but right now we're getting ready to set up and do the work on the engine, starting with the spark plugs. Before we get started with the full video, let's roll that intro. Looking for a little bit of if they were black on the anode or yeah. in the thing, that means it'd be burning bad. Right, so, so this is look, one, they look pretty good. Let's, let's hope that they're all the same way. Always a little bit of wet play there, but that's all right. There we go. That's good. This one's a little bit different, yeah, okay? But it's got a little bit of little bit black of on the that's expected. What, let me see good. where around the ring. A little bit around the threads, but is that's, that that's normal. Burning. Burning. Yeah. Yeah. burning nice and clean. If you can't buy them, it's burning a little rich. Do you have to do it every year, Beth? No. Every 100 hours? Or um, 100 hours is a minimum. You should take them out in a second. Can't imagine how the ones yeah, in your old motor must nice have been. <laughs> Especially the two-strokes. Probably a little bit. Mm. Smells like gunpowder. I changed them. I tried it. It smells good inside there. I love the fact these engines are so compact, both of them. Look at them compared to like a high engine. It's incredible. Isn't it? This is literally about the size of a motorcycle. Engine. Pretty much. Yeah, Andrew Case. It's important they always get the proper spark plugs for the for the boat. Always. Let's put this one in there. Alright, I'm assuming that you don't want these old uh no, if you want. No. Eddie, do uh, you want these? Push it right here, okay? Yeah. The good thing is that they're, since it's in line, right. they're like pretty much, you know, one is shorter than the other, so it's very simple. Make sure they make contact with it. That's good. Close. All right, spark plugs are done. It was easy. Yep. That was quick. That's, quick. that's probably the easiest thing I like to do. It, I like doing it from easiest to hardest, so that's last. All right. So, uh, what's next? Oil change? Well, let's do the oil change. Right, let's do the oil change. Right, so that shirt, you think we should take the oil filter out first? Well, to let it drain? Yeah, but let's, let's, let, let's start letting it drain and then open up the plug. Yeah, then we'll pull these out. And then we'll pull the stuff out. The only thing that's on here that's manual is the, the trim switch, which we just gotta be careful with, and that's it. All right. Oh, oh, well. Oh, yo, he's a spinner. You, you thought it was just gonna come out like. Yeah, it's gonna come like straight down. Yeah, right, bro. This is your hole right here. Yeah. Scout, don't drink that, okay? It's delicious, right? 
missed out. I'm just gonna have to get a little bit of have to get a spill kit. It's just a rookie mistake, spill guys. No big deal. Or some, or, some, or some kitty litter, bro. Oh, kitty litter, that works. Here you go. See you more, or you're good? No, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna throw it in here. This, I'm supposed to replace the oil plug. It's in there. So I'm gonna get it. Apparently, it comes with a brand new washer every time. It does, yeah. I didn't know the, these now have steel washers. For, yes. That's what it's called. Oh, that's this, this this thing. Thing. No, this is um, this is what holds your uh, your um, your water pump. Yeah. The first time I did it on my boat. Yeah. But and this is your cutter thing. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Alright, all right. Well, right. 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 move it over just a bit to the side. For uh order of screws. I literally do like a like a like a you know like a diagram like of the a diagram. Board. So like this would be the this middle. Be the middle, the the middle on the bottom. Okay. Let me know if you need man hands. You got soft hands, brother. You got soft hands. You ain't never worked a day in your goddamn life. Easier. Nah, it's slipping. It's slipping? Oh yeah, so then yeah, it's, maybe it's, the, it's a socket. This, I, I know, that's all I have left of this photo. Please. One Christmas, uh -oh. everyone. I'm gonna make coffee. Sorry, Scout. None for June. Yeah. Looks, looks better now. Oil change is done. I'm not importing the oil. So, you can get it's it. So, what we do is basically remove the cowling screws and it comes out on the right side of the engine. And then the oil filter down here, we just pulled it out. Oil filters and in there? Yeah, oil oh, but you in remove there. this whole thing or no? No, we just no, pulled we just pull, pull we pulled this side back just so by loosening up the screws. There There's like seven screws along the entire thing. And then it just gave us access and we use that wrench just to loosen it up and we put it back in. <laughs> so I just burned my throat. That's a, that's oh. right there. I said I just it's burned my throat. That's for the veins. All these are coming together nicely. You're getting your favorite cup. My little pink cup. Let's take it whole gallon. This is four quarters in here. Four quarts. Four quarts? Sorry. Football season. Yeah, it's a good game today, bro. Four quarts. One's an extra quarter. One's an extra quarter. We can measure with a stick now. There we go. We got a pitcher here. Oh, you want to do a picture? No, no, no. Now we're going to see if the, if, the, if, the, if the picture's a... And you can see the difference in the oil, the color. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that oil. Quick That's quick soil. That's mercury. That's really, really good. How was it? The coffee's good. It's good. I don't have to have enough. Yeah, it's really good. We're using the picture. Huh? We're using the picture. Oh, you didn't drink the coffee. I drank some. Four Four quarts? Yeah, so I'm gonna pour those four quarts and then measure this out after. <laughs> well, that's four quarts. Yeah, so that's a little bit more. Okay. Three quarts? Kid. Oh, you're right. No, no, no. Yeah, you're right. How many gallons is a quart? I mean, how many quarts is a gallon? Four, 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 Oh boy. I'll hold it. I'm scared. Alright. It's a little windy, go. so. Beautiful, man. Look at that oil, dude. Yeah, nice pour. Gotta go get that Yamalu. God damn, this is. I just want to drink it. <laughs> oh, I just want to do an oil change on everything, bro. Look at that. It does. You want to do service on the Yamalu? Hey, I actually just I hope your arms aren't sore. <laughs> no, my chest is sore. Here, you need to help me? I need to reposition. Oh, that's nice. That quicksilver is really good. Yeah, hell yeah. Full synthetic. Yeah. Yamaha, Yamaha recommends full synthetic on, on, on their engines. Yeah, that's all white label manufacturing. You have a, a, a plant that just white labels it and you slap your sticker on it. That's it. Yeah, you can just pour that in straight. Oh, because you're going to measure it? I want to measure it. I just want to see. Because right now we're at one quart, so that's... We already had three and a half, so that's four and a half quarts. We're going to be right at five here. So, 
the front, just apply a little bit of residual there. I'm going to stretch it. We'll measure it with, uh, we'll measure it with the stick now. Yeah, it's a little bit over. Not over the limit. It's like at 5.2 right now, of so course. That's not bad. Well, what is that? In total, like, I have four no, no, quarts no, no, and they're five. 10 W30. 10 W30. Because it's so big. If you want a better clean, type on the whole thing. Same thing as mine. Yeah, I have 10 W30, but I have quarts in W30. It doesn't really matter. That, that's, that's what I pour on, that's over on my, on my. Every time I order from Yamaha, from, from these people, I, I stayed with like a quarter. So I just started, I didn't have to order oil last time because yeah. I had so much oil. Accumulated, yeah. I had accumulated oil. Yeah, it's, I mean, you've done what? This is going to be your sixth service on your boat? Seven service? Seven services. So you have, you probably if you're a quart almost yeah, every, every other service, I have a lot of uh, oil in this oil. This is oil that you have to oil. Oh! Ah, that's the flood. Yes. Cheers to Christy. <laughs> right in the middle. Beautiful. Perfect. See it there? Beautiful. As long as you're in between those two, yeah, you're good to go. And let's do the oil, uh, the uh, the the fuel filter. Yeah, let's do a fuel filter now. Uh, uh, should we get rid of this oil real quick? Yeah, bro. Let's do it real quick. All right, uh, here, what are you gonna uh, do? Just throw it on the backyard? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna throw it on the drain that I have right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna go to Jared. <laughs> not, not Jared, Jay. Bro, that's us. So it's four bottles, the water's already polluted. Yeah, one thing they did is tell me to do this, and I'm glad I'm doing it. Just check all the screws because they are a bit loose. Check the screws yeah, also on for your jack plate. I do that in every service. And they are loose. Wow, it's incredible. It's like a good suggestion on their, on their behalf. Then the next thing we gotta do is your lower unit. Your lower unit oil. Oh, yeah, do yeah. that before you do the, the, the water pump. You might have to disconnect it from here. Give me, uh, do you have pliers? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Give me uh, put a rag down here. Just a bit of a here. Using it every single day, and then I do that. Where are those man hands when you need them? There you go, oh, man hands! a lot more to pull that off.
Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a letterman. Slide <laughs> it in a little bit. And that's it, your fuel, uh, fuel filter, filter is... Check. Engine fuel filter is done. So I'm gonna just place it on there, and then I'm gonna hand, hand yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. There you go. I cannot take it out, though. So, I don't know if I need to tap it with a rubber mallet or, or what. Because I remove the screw, it did not come out. So, it's tight. That's it. Done. Bro. Vibes. You gotta give up the right vibes, bro. The right vibrations. It's actually moving now. Thank God. There it goes. Alright. I got it to kind of wiggle now on my hand. Like this wiggle, wiggle. Ooh, boy, look at that. Yeah. Let me see. That's gotta go. <laughs> Did it bring you animals? Yeah. All okay. Look at those animals. Those look great, bro. Wow. It's got salt just laid up in there, bro. Ooh. All right, well, who we'll have to go? It's pretty nasty. Have you, you've never checked out yours? No. <laughs> um, how do we uh, dissolve? No. Here. You're gonna Bro, uh, put it on in? No, I'm gonna dump it in. If you can find the fourth one oh. on the page, I think it's on top, bro. Oh, science experiment. Just gotta chill in there for a little bit. <laughs> This is gonna, this is, you know what, this, I know this did by, you know, the school wasn't fitting correctly. I was like, oh, what's going on? Oh, shit. All right, trimmed down. Trimmed down? Yeah. That, that, uh, that oil is still good. That oh, yeah. And it doesn't have any water in it. This is yeah. what I'm looking for. Yeah. So it's still, you know, this is good. Yeah. That's very good news. I don't even remember when I repowered it. I repowered it, what, like last summer? Was it? Last summer, right? Like right in the beginning yeah, of summer. summer. Yeah, it was like May. It's not bad, bro. I mean, like six months. Hey, no, it's six months. Like eight or nine months, right? Alright. Don't tell Suzuki. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Dama Shield. and all your, uh, your rubber hoses. Helps with corrosion, keeps the salt off of it. And also keeps your, you know what I do on the trolling motor, um, the wire, like the main, the main wire? The main wire, yeah. I just put some on the thing and it helps it keep it uh, so it nice and nice. Yeah. yeah. I do that with, uh, with, uh, with also with vinyl, but I'm gonna have to pick up some, some yellow shoes like that and do it. Uh, you gotta put the, uh, the oil stick back on. Yeah. I had to remove it so I could put the, uh, get in there. I'm gonna have to take it back off when I, when I put this one back in. Oh, that's right there. Nice and oily. Get some salt off this. And then right here, this is very important right here. This is your gear. That needs to stay lubed up. This has to stay lubed up. That's it. Oh my god, look at the surface rust. This just comes right off. From not the not the hook, but the actual screw. Yamalu Yamashiro. Alright, let's do this. Let's go. So we bring everything, or at least. You need to be leveled out or to find it. Uh, 
gonna fill it up, right? Yeah. Fill it up and I'm gonna tighten up the jack, the jack plate now. Lift up the engine. What we did was just uh, Chris removed the propeller by taking out the cotter pin and taking the castle nut out. Let's put a mark here. It's right here. Now we're just going to put a mark here. Just put a mark here. And uh, just to make sure this lines up, I guess uh, somehow, but we're not going to be able to see it on no. this one. See if we can mark Let's it up mark there. mark it right here. So we, we know go. that it has to line up. Yeah. So. Okay, perfect. All right, good. So all you gotta do is loosen up this bolt now, and all see all these six. Which you know, you there's up. only there's only one. You see that? There's only one way that you can put it on there. Mm -hmm. So it's what's that? Okay. Twelve. I see right. you, brown chicken. And we have another screw that I'm, I'm assuming that's the one that has to come out. That's the one. That's, that's the, the big one. one. For that? We're going to test out the ghetto lower stand. Lower unit stand. See if it works. And now we're going to have to wet it in between two, uh, two, two chairs. chairs. It should work fine. Got it. All right. Let's see. There's a lower here. Put it. Nice. Perfect. That's what it looks like a nice sailboat. All right, get all your know units that works. Where are you going? Let's go. Hold on, don't remove it yet. Because we might not have to. Because in my in my engine, it's one whole gasket. So this is uh, how you can tell obviously that this is ready for replacement. These should be nice and straight. Oh it should really? It is completely, yeah. completely look at the new one. The, the new, one? new one you'll have a good example of what it should look like. See that or we'll open it up. I right, had the new gasket. Dry up some of this water, clean up some of the crud, and then grease it up again. But this is what it should look like, and that's what it looks yep. like there. Wow. So you'll, yeah. And there is just a little bit of sand on it, not much. All right, so this goes straight up. So I'll hold it down. Okay. But you have a hole here on this side. This first, and I think they're on. almost done. All right, brother. <laughs> All right, so we can't remove the uh, the gasket until we get this thing off. Yeah. So this right here, let me go get the heavy duty, the heavy duty stuff. Oh shit, I'm scared. Oh. No, I got the gasket off. Oh, you got the gasket off. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about the Psych. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Watch out. I feel chisel. That's it. That was pretty quick. There we go. And then we have to chisel it back in. Man hands and man tools. Makes it easy to clean. All right, let's take the kit apart and see what's up. We have to get that out too, because it comes with a new one. Oh, it comes with a new one? So that's yeah. look, look, look at it on the side. What? We replaced the entire impeller unit. Now we're just reassembling it. Add a little bit of marine grease on the inside just to have, make sure it spins freely. Oh, 
cross tighten a little bit. Don't want to over tighten. Yeah, it's uh, plastic, so you don't want to go too crazy. All right, this is going to look a little off. Clean this guy before. <laughs> look at that technique. It's all, it's all in the technique. <laughs> it's, uh, so here, you don't want to put too much grease, just a dab. No, I didn't. Just clean it up because it had a little bit of rust, but it didn't seem to be just surface rust, so it's good to go. We'll put this one. This one needs a little bit of love. It's got a little bit of surface rust to go. A little bit of just dab of grease here on the side so it's going to slide in. Back in place. I'll lift up if you want to guide it. Yeah, that one's going to be nice. Alright, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's Line up on one. Yeah, it's gonna line up like this. Uh, like that. Right. Come on. Come on. Right. That's it. Well, but we need the hose. The hose. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Got So we're tightening the prop right now and lining up the castle nut so that the cotter pin can slide through and properly bend over, locking the propeller in place. And as you are watching Scout, my buddy's dog, attack the camera, well, the camera just died. So that is it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the bell notifications, and smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.